Imagine standing on a battlefield, not a single shot fired yet, but you know you've already lost. This isn't just any defeat. It's a grand chess game played by a mastermind, where every move is calculated with precision. Welcome to the Battle of Ulm, where Napoleon Bonaparte, a name synonymous with military genius, pulled off one of the most astonishing maneuvers in military history. Today we unravel the story of how Napoleon outsmarted an army without barely engaging in battle. Stay with us as we delve into this intriguing tale of strategy, surprise, and sheer genius. Let's wind the clocks back to 1805. Europe is a chessboard of power plays, and at the center of this grand game is Napoleon Bonaparte, the Emperor of the French, a man feared and admired in equal measure. Our story takes us to a small town near the Danube River, Ulm. Here, an unsuspecting Austrian army awaits, confident in their strength and numbers. Little did they know, they were about to become pawns in Napoleon's grand strategy. Let's delve deeper into Napoleon's strategic masterpiece. The Austrians under General Karl Mack were stationed near Ulm, their eyes set eastwards, eagerly awaiting the arrival of Russian reinforcements. This was their plan, unite with their allies and present a formidable front against the French. But in this waiting there lay a fatal flaw, a vulnerability that only a mind like Napoleon's could discern and exploit. Napoleon, with his eagle eye for weakness, observed something the Austrians missed. They were spread out, their forces dispersed over a wide area, making them vulnerable to an attack that could divide and conquer. This was more than a mere chink in the armor. It was a gaping hole waiting to be breached. Seizing this opportunity, Napoleon orchestrated what we now refer to as the Ulm Maneuver. This wasn't just a movement, it was a symphony of military precision and swiftness. With a force of about 200,000 men, Napoleon embarked on a rapid advance, a maneuver so swift and so unexpected that it took the form of an artful dance around the Austrian positions. The French troops moved through the Black Forest, a route considered difficult and unlikely by the Austrians. This was Napoleon's masterstroke. By choosing a path less expected, he avoided detection and caught the Austrians unprepared. The French forces emerged from the forest like a storm, swift and unstoppable. As the French army encircled Ulm, the Austrians found themselves trapped, like a spider caught in its own web. General Mack, who had anticipated a frontal assault, found his army surrounded on all sides. Napoleon had effectively cut off any possibility of retreat or reinforcement. It was a classic encirclement, executed with such finesse that it left the Austrians bewildered and demoralized. This maneuver was not just a display of military strength, but also of psychological warfare. Napoleon, by outflanking the Austrians, had sown confusion and fear in their ranks. The Austrian soldiers, who had been waiting to join forces with their allies, now found themselves facing an enemy who was everywhere and nowhere, striking with precision and vanishing like a ghost. In this brilliant maneuver, Napoleon had managed to outsmart an entire army, capturing almost 30,000 Austrian troops without a significant battle. It was a victory that resonated across Europe, echoing the prowess of a man who could win wars not just with the sword, but with the sheer power of his intellect and strategic acumen. Let's delve deeper into the essence of this extraordinary victory. The Battle of Ulm stands as more than a mere conquest. It was a proclamation, a testament to Napoleon's unparalleled strategic acumen. It left the whole of Europe not just in shock, but in awe. Here was a man who had achieved the unthinkable, a monumental victory without the bloodshed and brutality of a typical battle. But how did he accomplish this feat of military prowess? The answer lies in a combination of unorthodox warfare, innovative thinking, and indomitable leadership. Napoleon's approach to warfare was revolutionary. He broke away from traditional military tactics, which often relied on direct, forceful engagement. Instead, he championed the use of rapid movement, surprise attacks, and psychological warfare. His strategies were not just about defeating the enemy on the battlefield. They were about outthinking them, outmaneuvering them in such a way that victory was secured before the battle had even begun. At Ulm, his rapid marches were not just movements. They were calculated strokes designed to disorient and destabilize the enemy. By choosing unexpected routes and employing lightning-fast advances, Napoleon kept the Austrian army in a state of confusion and uncertainty. He understood that warfare was as much a mental game as it was a physical one. By keeping the Austrians guessing, he eroded their morale, making them vulnerable to defeat even before they could engage in battle. Furthermore, Napoleon's fearless leadership played a crucial role. He led from the front, 
willing to take bold risks that others would shy away from. His ability to inspire his troops, to instill in them a sense of invincibility, was key to executing such daring maneuvers. His soldiers trusted him implicitly, following him into the heart of enemy territory with unwavering faith. Napoleon's strategy at Ulm also showcased his audacity and his willingness to defy conventions and rewrite the rules of warfare. His encircling of the Austrian army was a masterful display of tactical ingenuity. He effectively created a situation where the Austrians were fighting not just the French army, but their own dwindling spirits and the creeping realization of inevitable defeat. Each step Napoleon took at Ulm was a lesson in military genius. He demonstrated that victory on the battlefield is not always about brute force. It's about the art of war, the ability to see beyond the immediate, to envision and execute a plan that leaves the enemy defeated not by the sword, but by the sheer force of strategic brilliance. In the end, the Battle of Ulm was not just a triumph on the battlefield. It was a landmark in the annals of military history. It was a display of strategic genius that would be studied by military leaders and strategists for generations to come. A shining example of what can be achieved when audacity meets intellect on the grand stage of war. And so, the Battle of Ulm stands not just as a testament to Napoleon's brilliance, but as a reminder of the power of strategic thinking and the impact of innovative leadership. It's a story that goes beyond the battlefield, echoing through the annals of history. Did Napoleon's tactics at Ulm surprise you? Were you captivated by this tale of strategic genius? If so, we invite you to join our journey through history by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Share your thoughts below in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Until next time, keep the wheels of time turning.